on YouTube. It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And I got a really good picture from you. This is down fresh from the rover. It's about time we had some interesting comeback. My buddy Rami put something out on this uh, earlier today. And I'll link up his stuff and his page. He had uh, put up some of the stuff over here. Where was it? This statue thing right here. Check this thing out. Among all this uh, crazy looking debris, there seems to be stuff that's got uh, writing in it. Wait till you see this stuff. This looks like a garden gnome or something, I think he called it. This whole area is just really, really, really cool. Um, like I said, finally got something new back from the rovers. Look, they've got like, uh, it looks like an S right there and all sorts of good stuff. Now, let me show you how it actually came from the rover. I got a couple different views. See the color in it, and you can see it. Look, you can even see the S really good, and this this piece right here. Look, it comes up to a perfect 90 degree angle, and then uh, you've got the carvings in it. I mean, this is one that should, if you were a skeptic of any of my videos at one time, hopefully this will turn you around and say, "Whoa, civilization was on Mars and it was straight up destroyed by something." Um, and I leave that up to you to find out, you know. And I leave it up to you to take a look at all this stuff anyway. But this is our amazing picture. Um, and this is, that's how I pulled it out a little bit. I'll go through the, the three different, um, I pull, also have it in black and white here. So we can reach into it and look at it from a bunch of different, different views as we go through it. But check the B out here. Um, this definitely looks like stonework at its finest. I mean, I figured this is what we were going to be getting into at the bottom of the hill here soon. Um, it had to be coming. The, uh, just the piles of, of junk and, right, you know, just that's been piled up at the bottom of the mouth. And check this thing out. That Tell me that doesn't look like a, a little scary face. It's not. I know it's not a face. Like I said, the faces I usually tend to not even mention anymore. But whatever it is, it looks pretty cool. Um, if you were, it's laying on its side, though. But... Once again, there's a lot of blurring on this picture. Uh, we see it in pictures all the time that come from NASA, uh, whether it's from the rover, whether it's from the transmission, or whether it's them hiding stuff. It's interesting where they end up. Um, so you can see on here, you can see some flat, that perfect through here. But on over here, you can see these square blur marks that seem to be squared off almost perfectly. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. It's missing right here, so that's either done by something, you know, software glitch or something along those lines. Look at that perfect circle with a, uh, almost looks like a steering wheel in the center of it. But as you go through it, this is the, the wall. I mean, this is what, tell me this does not look like some pieces of a wall. That That's just, you know, that's all that's left standing at the bottom of it. There's a blur mark right through here, so you can't see the whole thing. Um. But here's how it came from NASA. I mean, you can see it pretty much. You don't even need to to tinker with it. I mean, it's there. I mean, it's beautiful. It definitely looks like it came from another piece, and it was placed there. It looks like whatever was holding it together, the, the, the putty, the mud, whatever it was that held this thing together, is still holding some of it together. And look, you've got a big block there, and these blocks seem to have little pieces carved into them. Here's black and white. As I stroll through it, you see what I'm talking about? See how this looks like a little face right there? Let me go back to the other picture right there. Like in here, you seem to have almost a human-like face. And this looks like some of the stuff that we're finding here on Earth. Um, all over Earth we find stuff like this. So we're digging up places right now um, all over the world. Now check this piece out. Two interlocking blocks with perfect 90-degree angles that are actually on a curve. Where do you see this type of block work? You see it in megalithic structures here on Earth. You see even, even new buildings that are being built, uh, that type of interlocking structures. Now, here's where I talk about blurring. Check this out. We can't see what's behind this. Now, this looks like a snow job, a, you know, a blow job, whatever you want to call it, a blur job, excuse me. Check that out. Look at it, though. I mean, you can see it pretty much plain as day. Either this thing came... Even with the other pictures, let's see how it came from NASA and how it looks. Look at that. Really. I mean, look how clear you can see that. Look how clear you can see this piece right here. Look how clear this piece is. Very interesting piece, too. Whatever it is, it looks like it's a piece of something. Um, you know what I have? Look at this piece, too. You know what I haven't shown you guys yet? 
where I actually got this from. This is, uh, not sure what all I did here. Let's see, here it is right here. Bingo. Here's where you get it from. All you have to do is go to the description of my video. It's there. And we haven't even checked the top of this ridge yet. There's so much stuff going on in this picture. This is one of my favorites I've seen in a while. And right now, we're just looking at it how NASA sent it out. This is their colors and everything. Look at the stuff that's just laying around. Check that out. Oh, this looks like a little heart piece on that. It looks like it comes down. Um, definitely seems to be just shaped, whatever it is. It's got a little three in there. Hopefully you can see that as I pull that out. See that? Little, uh, little shape in there. Just kind of a little shapey in there built into it. I love this stuff. I tell you, I love, I'm so glad we actually found something decent coming from the rover lately. I noticed how my Photoshop does that. I noticed it does that when I move from, from thing to thing. Over here, it gets kind of blurry, too. See how this is, this piece, it's definitely behind it more, so I can understand why it's a little bit blurry, but um, there's this round thing here that I don't know if that's the reason why. It's, I guess it could just be the camera focus itself in on right here, but Either way, pretty interesting. Look at this here. Look at the, uh, what seem to be levels of rock that come up. Um, here you've got like a perfect sphere and part of it. It's just interesting. It looks like it's just been tossed and just kind of twisted all up. But this is some of the best looking debris I've seen that shows uh, signs of civilization by far. This was definitely twisted up remnants of something from along the way i uh pretty much sure of that by now with all the videos i've done i think this is mars video 306 which is really much further than 306 and here's what rami had put out earlier i mean look at that garden gnome whatever you want to call it the thing is pretty cool and it sticks up perfectly um, and it's got symmetry if you cut the thing right in half you could fold it in on each other so it's right next to a piece that looks like an s let me just keep Bringing it right back to how NASA sent it out. I mean, you can see it, right? Doesn't take much, but when you really tweak it out, it looks great. Check that out. That, to me, looks like a symbol I've seen before. Have you guys seen that? What, my subscribers rock. Some of you guys know would know what that is. I mean, it looks like an A and something or something along those lines, but it reminds me of something I've seen before, like a mathematics symbol or something. Let's keep on moving on over. Look at this debris up here. Um, it just sticks up and it comes out. It looks to be shaped. It looks like it was all part of something. I mean, hopefully this uh, will grab some of the even the toughest skeptics. And some, you know, sometimes it's good to look at this stuff in black and white. And uh, just to get a, because of the color filters um, on the actual rover themselves. They could tend to throw your eyes off. And I think they're used sometimes just to throw your eyes off. And when I say that, here's the, uh, that's directly from the NASA. And when you pull out, see that? Now when you pull out the other colors in it by basically just, you know, tightening up the shop, all those colors are still there. And this is what I think it actually looks like up there. But it's definitely beautiful. A lot of these colors, though, they're added from NASA. They're not actually on the, you know, on there like that. But when you see um, more like this right here, this color, this piece right here looks like that color. I don't think that was, that's not added in by NASA or added in by the filter or anything like that. Well, it's like a whole piece that's pieced together. That's what I'm, I'm seeing here. But look at the spheres up here, how these come down. I know I'm missing all sorts of stuff, but there's another perfect spear there, another one there. There's that B-looking piece right there. All sorts of good stuff. Comment below. What do you guys see? What have I missed? Um, just kind of briefly go through. My wall right here is the best thing. I'll tell you, this looks like it was just a piece of a fortress that ended up here. And this is the bottom of, you know, the bottom of a mountain. There's probably water. I think that's how most of this all kind of got thrown around and thrashed. That The water just kind of, as the water level went down, it just left everything where it was and this is most likely how it's still on the actual uh, surface still. Uh, and I think as we go up the mountain, or if we're able to get up the mountain, I see that they uh, says they fixed pretty much the glitch from what I'm hearing and reading on the rover, so that's good news. Um, we're still going to get some more pictures for the time being. Um, so I don't know, guys. 
go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think. I think this is one of those, uh, the ones where you can really just take a good look at it and say, all right, is this stuff really just sitting up there made? I mean, look at this right here, this piece right here, how it's got these indents in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it goes up right here in the middle of it. And it just looks like it was carved into it at some point. Very interesting stuff. Intricate, too. Very ornate. Um, the stuff looks to be destroyed, of course. Like something happened on the planet, and this is what's been left. Little bits and pieces that kind of keep our minds uh, moving forward. And, and I think if you watch my videos, you got to have that open mind where, uh, you know, anything's possible. Who knows what happened up there? Who knows what happened on any of our planets? I think we're still learning so much just about our own. It's amazing. Check out the cut in that. It looks like somebody's trying to get a block out of it. And uh, you don't see the rest of it because it's been blurred. See the blur tools goes up there in the square blur tool as always. So, all right, guys, much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. It's Sunday. Peace. Oh, that wrong button. See, I'm just now getting back in the swing. 11-11. Love it. Peace. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video and have your annotations turned on, just click on the video below you wish to watch or check out the whatsupinthesky.com website by clicking on it below.